Hey everyone, Brian here. Welcome back to Wax Trash Treasures. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have something nice to say, uh, say it in the comment section. If you have something not nice to say, well, you can still say it in the comment section, but say it nicely. I managed to track down this real gem of a set. These are packs of 1988 Topps UK American Baseball. This is a, a set designed to introduce American baseball and American baseball card purchasers from the United Kingdom uh, to, you know, American baseball. Uh, these cards are not full size. They're sort of minis, I guess. They are uh, two and an eighth by three inches as opposed to two and a half by three and a half. So slightly smaller than your standard baseball card. When you open them up, you'll see uh, what I mean there. Uh, I'll have a, another card to compare them to. They come with gum because tops can't exist without gum in the 1980s. And uh, there's really not anything of value in here, but they're, they're pretty good looking cards. I thought maybe we'd go through a few packs and see what we can find in here. So let's open up this first pack uh, and, uh, and we'll see what we get. They open super easy. Uh, they're plastic, not wax, so the glue is less likely to damage the cards. And here we've got Steve Pedrosian right on the front. And, and you can see I've got this, uh, this goldy card that I need to mail in. But you can see there's definitely a size difference. It's, again, it's an eighth of an inch in one direction and, and a, full, uh, a full half an inch in another that the difference is. But, you know, not full-size cards. There is gum in the packs. Let's see. It's not even the right color. It's sort of a pasty chalk color instead of pink. Uh, let's see maybe who we can find in these packs. Uh, the set itself is very small. It's only 88 cards. So really, you could assemble the whole thing on eBay uh, relatively inexpensively. Uh, we've got uh, Steve Pedrosian. We've got perennial all-star George Bell. We've got Paul Molitor. Look at that. And you can see the cut job just as bad in Topps UK print house, uh, which was in Ireland, as it is in the American print houses. So that's great. We've got Charlie Huff, who is old. And we've got Will Clark, uh, cut pretty far to the left and pretty far to the top. That's pack number two. I bought 10 packs for, I mean, maybe $10, 20, 10, $15, I guess. Not, not very much at all. Uh, these are cut a little better. We got uh, Greg Walker. We got Doc Gooden. This is our first really good card out of the thing, probably. Uh, Willie Randolph, uh, Tony Gwynn. That, and that's a perfectly cut card that's absolutely beautiful. It's, you can see uh, here we get away from the glare, but you can see this is a really well cut card. The, the logo is very simple, right? Just this team logo. We got three stars, we got the player name and his position, and uh, a little bit of information about him. But this is a, this is a great looking card. It's not perfectly cut on the back, so it's not going to get a 10, that's for sure, but that's okay. And hey, Steve Bedrosian again. There's Barry Bonds. Look at that. Uh, poor cutting again. I can't have it all. Yes. Uh, Jeffrey Leonard. We got Ricky Henderson. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> George Brett. It's all right. And Joe Carter. These cards, if you ever have a chance to get them, they have a slightly different feel to American cards of the era do. Uh, they're... Um, a little bit more uh, sort of dusty, I guess, on the back. That might be a consequence of the gum in the packs. Uh, might also just be a consequence of the slightly different material they would have used at the at the Ireland print house. Yeah, Corey Snyder, Kevin Seitzer, Tom Hankey looks exactly like every other picture of Tom Hankey. I'm not going to lie. We got Brett Saberhagen and Jose Canseco again, up and to the left. We get the distinct impression that finding a well-cut card out of here is as much a miracle as any other particular thing. And Kevin Mitchell, we got Rhino with a, uh, look at that mustache. All right. I got Kirby Puckett, Corey Snyder, and Kevin Seitzer again. There's another Paul Molitor, another Charlie Huff, another Will Clark. We got our checklist. So let's the complete checklist, all 88 cards here. And Larry Sheets, who's uh, straining. Mike Witt, got Dwight Gooden, this one cut to the right instead of the left. We got Willie Randolph. Here's another Tony Gwynn, cut to the wrong side again. And our third, Steve Bedrosian. He was not that important. There's no reason to print that many Steve Bedrosian cards. He probably could have cut his print line relative to the others and really wouldn't have made much of a difference. Yeah, Lloyd Mosby is Dave Stewart. Teddy Higuera. You got Mike Schmidt. 
watching a ball go off into the uh, into the stands, I think. And Robin Yount uh, cut so far to the left, he's practically a Democrat in that picture. Right, we got uh, Kurt Gibson, outfielder for the Tigers. Mike Witt. Here we go, Nolan Ryan, and this is a this is actually a very well cut card, and it's in good shape despite the fact that these cards aren't really protected in that uh, in that plastic package. This is in good shape. The corners look great. It's card number sixty two. Got his signature here on the back. Nickname is the Ryan Express. This is probably the best card I'm going to pull out of this whole set. Put that front and center there. We got to, oh, hey, we got Hawk. We got the Hawk, Andre Dawson, and uh, another good looking card, and uh, Speedster Willie McGee. And really well centered. This is a great photograph of, of Mr. McGee there. It's another Corey Snyder card, and another player who was printed too many times. Kevin Seitzer, Jiminy Christmas. Tom Hickey, is this the same pack? And he got another Nolan Ryan. This one's not quite as good. It's got a bit of a ding to it, but uh, nonetheless. Um, yeah, still, at least it's cut centered. Put that over there. Sorry, Willie. All right, last pack. Yeah, Wade Boggs in the batting cage. Glenn Davis. Matt Noakes. Wally Joyner. His hands on his hip. He's disappointed in somebody. Probably his children. And John Franco. Well, uh, this is a fun set. I really like these cards. I, this is, you know, this is not a full-size card, obviously. I mentioned that already. Uh, cut quality is frankly pretty poor but this is a nice simple design this is sort of like if we look at modern sets this is very similar to big league baseball right it's very child friendly it's designed to introduce people to the hobby and to the sport as much as it is to be about chasing cards uh this is easy easily obtainable i think uh in, at least in terms of price i actually had a hard time finding packs for sale though i think the production run was was a lot smaller obviously than for other junk wax era sets and and probably uh would would be low compared to modern sets too, which of course have production value or production runs that are much smaller than they were in the late 80s and early 90s. Nonetheless, uh, these are still, like I said, fairly easily obtainable cards. I, I really like them. They're so simple. They're so clean. It's a nice card to start, start introducing kids to the hobby and to this uh, sort of late 80s, early 90s era card product. I wish they were cut better. I, you know, I can't go back in time. I haven't, haven't figured out how to do that yet. So I'm going to stick with what I got. These are fun cards, and uh, maybe you'll find some too. Hey, thanks for watching. See you around.